Hello everybody, uh, here we are in the harbour in Las Palmas with the artist Anna Minahan who is just about to launch her first website and uh, we're doing a little interview. Now Anna then, Hello welcome. Hello everybody. Yes, uh, Anna what is your earliest recollection of art? <laughs> My first recollection of art was when I was at convent school in Northampton. I was only 10 at the time and I did a portrait of one of my classmates. Um, I never do portraits now and that the last time I saw this it was hanging up at open day um, in my class. Um, after that I didn't do art at school because I went to dance school so all my drawings were of dancers in 101 costumes. So I'm sure if that first first painting of art for one that can be found now somebody can Laugh all the way to the bank, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when did you actually start to paint, Anna? Well, really not until I came to Gran Canaria in 2003. Um, mainly because I had my own business and it was always too busy, it was so time consuming. When I moved to Gran Canaria, I had more free time. And before, I could always draw and could always sketch, but if I put paint to it, everything was ruined. Um, but I was determined I was going to paint when I came here. So I started silk painting, which I found absolutely fascinating because I was fascinated by the way uh, the paint flows on the silk. It doesn't always do what you want it to do, and in that case, because it sometimes doesn't even take to the silk properly, but that made it more of a challenge having to work around it, and I liked the total effect of it. But of course then from that, then I started doing other things. I, I love the oils, but the trouble is they take so long to dry but very nice for the landscapes and things that I do. Um, I like uh, ac acrylics because they dry very quickly, lovely for the abstracts because you can really explore and go mad. Uh, <laughs> but the aquarelles are probably my favourites with the silks because I love doing landscapes and you can do the detail and that well in the aquarelles. But they are time consuming, yes. Yeah. What well, actually inspires you to paint then? If you look around, you can see beauty all around you. Certainly here in Gran Canaria, we've got all the lovely mountains. You've got the sea, you've got um, the beautiful flowers, the strelitzas, uh, the cloud formations, the sunsets, the sunrises. But really, I love tr trees and the shapes of trees. So really, you've got beauty all around. Of course, I dream in colours, so I think this probably affects things as well. Okay. And what... What exactly do you like painting? Yes, I love doing the landscapes. I love doing trees, like I just said, although I haven't done many, but I do like doing those. But I, um, yeah, I love the landscapes, really. I like doing the silks, which I don't, I do various things on those. Um, and I like, yes, going mad on the abstracts. <laughs> yes, which, which can be seen on the side, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Now do, you find let loose. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you find painting very time-consuming? Yes, because you get totally engrossed in it. Yeah. Now, what is the normal time stand that you do paint? Yes, well, often at night and through the night, I sometimes get so lost in the painting I want to carry on, and it can be four o'clock in the morning, I'll probably go to bed and then get up in my night about seven and start all over again through till dinner time. Does it say on any of the paintings whether they've been drawn in the night here or not? <laughs> I'm sure everybody that will purchase one online now will wonder. <laughs> and I used to always paint when I came on holiday here. I just used to lie on the beach and just sketch with pastels, something I never use now. Okay. Now, why have you now decided to go online with your art? Really, so that it reaches a wider sort of spectrum. Um, it can, I like art, I think that art should be enjoyed by people all around the world and I'm very interested in other countries and their cultures so I, um, it probably reflects in some of my paintings but also so that people can interact and talk about your art and uh, talk about their art and generally you know have a mix and yeah, there's yeah. clearly a wide range on your, your painting, especially the landscapes as we've seen. It seems to cover from New Zealand over Singapore all the way to the Canaries and Ireland. Mm -hmm. These also are places that you have obviously been, into, been to and that they have influenced you. 
yes, I, I'm fascinated by places and their cultures, and yes, I certainly am. That's a, hence the little India in Singapore. I loved it there. Okay. And why have you made the website so very interactive? I mean, I've noticed there's places where people can vote. Um, obviously, the interview that we're doing now. Yeah, why? Why have you made it so interactive? Well, I think that uh, if you're interested in art at all, you do like to comment on things. You do like to talk with other artists. You do like to get what their feelings are about your work and see what people like and what they don't like. Obviously, you've got to. Um, Sort of cater for current trends, not just what you like. You know, you don't always paint exactly what you like, although. So you're, you're hoping to sort of in, in a way to build an, a community of, of art lovers and yes, artists yes, on, I, online yes, I do on think your so, site. Yes. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And what are your hopes for your guest artist slots on your website? Well, I, I'm hoping that other artists will join with me and come onto the website, so that they can, you know, extend their work as well. And it's nice to have company, obviously. And um, you know, it, 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 this, you know, here, particularly in Las Palmas, um, there are various places where you can show your art. But I mean, really, you want it to go further afield than just the Canary Islands. Okay. Well, Anna, thank you very much for your time, and I um, hope everybody who will watch this video will enjoy it, and hopefully also make contact with you and form this community that you're hoping for. So do I. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.